What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at Lisfanga, the Time Shift Warrior, a game that blends traditional ARPG elements with a very interesting tactical meets time shifting mechanic that the actual fights take place in. Now this is a game that was on my radar back when it was shown off during, I believe it was the summer game show last year, but in spite of that it launched relatively quietly just a few days ago from the time of this video. And while it's not a particularly large game, and thus a full review would be a little over the top, as this video will cover basically everything there is to know, I do think it does a few things worth talking about. Namely, its approach to combat itself, of course. Every combat encounter in this game sees you initially running up, killing as many enemies as you can, before a timer runs out, which ultimately kills you and resets combat. At which point, your previous actions will be undertaken by a remnant, whereas your avatar character will be free to go do this again. And through a couple different cycles of this mechanic, you'll eventually take out all the enemies in a single go, thus completing that combat encounter. Now, what makes this interesting, of course, is the mechanics they throw in your way, such as enemies that have to be killed in tandem, large enemies that will shield themselves against attacks, requiring you to then coordinate with your remnants. Later on, they throw walls that have to be brought down by attacking certain crystals. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, as later they start introducing all sorts of mechanics that you have to work around. But that's to say nothing of your own skills. As you play, you'll get access to a variety of spells that allow you to take certain actions, usually against groups of enemies. There's a big power-up option that will see every one of your remnants releasing an energy blast around them. And the whole thing then becomes a rather unique tactical puzzle of sorts, requiring you to utilize your more traditional ARPG skills to actually pull it all off. Now, alongside this, the game does, of course, feature a story, an outpost to customize your appearance and a few other things, meet some characters along the way, and do a little bit of exploration into the cities you'll be running around in. But the combat mechanic at play here is the central thing. Now, story-wise, it's pretty straightforward. Once upon a time, there were a few warring nations that made peace only to then be invaded by demons, which required one of them to sacrifice their queen and ascend her to godhood, who became the goddess of time, who then went on to use that power to freeze the cities under invasion from these demons via her time powers. When the game kicks off, we find ourselves in control of M.A., one of two warriors set to uphold these barriers and protect people from the demons therein. But right as you're supposed to take up this duty from your predecessor, your brother goes missing, and the time locks around the cities fall down, which means you need to get there and fight off the hordes of demons, as is your purpose. Upon doing so, we are granted our power from the goddess we serve, which explains your time-shifting powers, and then you'll start actually exploring the city. The maps are divided up into several sub-areas. There is a fast travel system at play here as well that'll allow you to get around relatively quickly, and while the battles themselves are typically done in these arenas, you can still explore the city streets, find a few collectibles, some of which will alter your appearance via color palettes, but you can also find things like remnant shards, and upon collecting so many of those, you'll increase the amount of remnants available to you in combat, because if you run out of available remnants, you actually get a game over. Apparently, the max number for this is like 15 or something. And these battles apparently get pretty complicated in the later stages when you're dealing with that many copies to begin with, alongside all the enemies and various mechanics they ramp up and throw at you over the course of the game. Now, in between all that fighting and exploration, there is a sort of main hub that you'll operate out of, which is where you can do things like customize your appearance, customize your runes and skills, alongside a few other advancement and progression systems you'll unlock along the way, all while you try to get to the root of this mystery. So, long story short, I would would not consider this a particularly large game. I think it tries to do one thing, and that particular thing happens to be fun and interesting, at least in what I've experienced of the game. And as someone who enjoys a lot of tactical style games and ARPGs, seeing a game in that genre do something relatively unique is a nice treat. And considering the game full price is only 25 bucks, I think it's actually on a launch sale right now, though so you can get it for a little bit less. This seems to me like a fun game to play, especially on like the Steam Deck or something on the go. But mostly I just thought it was a neat game that was worth some extra attention. Though I wouldn't exactly call this an indie, I believe it's actually being published by Quantic Dream. But nonetheless, I think it's worth taking a look at if you find yourself with some free time. With all of that said, 
Let me know what you think about this particular title and its interesting approach to combat down in the comment section below, which of course means to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz, but regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day. Thank you.